everyone. It's Nona Grace and it's early part of the day. I decided that maybe I should make a little bit at the beginning of the day and then continue as the day goes on to make to add a little more and um, because some days like yesterday I was rather tired when I got home. I had a real quiet day the whole day and then I went to the library and it was another hour and a half of basically focusing and quiet. There was a lot of chatter going on, but I didn't have to do any talking. I could do a lot of listening, which was entertaining for me. And today I was, um, I got up about 7.30 this morning and I watched a few videos. And as I'm watching, I'm thinking I should be doing something. And so then I decided I would go and answer my comments and of course when I'm answering my comments now I'm clicking on more videos because if someone has commented on my video I try to watch their their latest video if they don't have a, a new one to watch I sometimes dip into the older stuff that I may have not seen and I do that but I've been listening to the chickens clucking outside and I want to show you a little bit of the babies I did get a little video of them when they were up about, oh, I don't know, maybe two days old. Uh, Emma, she did um, cluck at me and not like that I was in there with her. She's been acting different this time. The last few times I would close the little chicken door so that the other hens couldn't come in and bother her with her babies. Well, this time she was acting like she was a caged little chick. She wanted out. And yesterday, the chicks are not even very old. They're not even a week old yet. And she was already trying to get them to come out of the little house and go down onto the ground. But they would go to the door. They would stammer a little bit. You know, they didn't want to follow. And so she'd come back in clucking and saying, come on, follow me, follow me. And they weren't following her. So they still haven't gone out onto the ground. When they do, I will have to probably block off an area for her and her babies and um, give her the dog house again. Because once they come out of the house, they can't hop up onto the ladder to get back up in and so that's when I give them the little dog house with the hay and they sleep in that. Well I'm going to stop talking now for a little bit and if I think of something else I want to add I will be adding it in there so you may see the chicks in this video or you may have already seen them. I don't know. I could put it in somewhere. Alrighty I'll see you in a little bit. So far, there's two babies. Okay, Emma, the babies are not even a week old and she brought them down from up in the house. And they are enjoying eating. She's had them eating chicken scratch. She's had them, I've given them the baby starter food. One of them is brown. It's a dark brown. I have another brown hen. But this one's different, I think. And the little one, the yellow one's already getting its wings. How about you, little one? Are you two? I hope you are both girls. Would be nice. Emma, you're so pale from being in that little thing for so long. And there's some of the other girls. Get to the drinking fountain now, little chicken. There you go. Reach the water. I 
are the other babies? They've gotten so big. That's not their mama. That's Lu that's Louise. The mama has kind of left them. This one that I think I thought was a rooster. I'm not sure now because it's got some really pretty feathers that look like a girl's feathers. Don't run away. I want to check you out. They run from me. All these hens, they, they know I'm trying to see them. And you're the one that has no tail. No, Emma. It's okay. Emma always feels threatened when I'm near her. Papa Pepper sent me some seeds to plant a snake gourd. And this is the only snake gourd that I've got. And you know, I started it and um, Farmer G's, I think is much bigger than mine. And he started his after I did, which is kind of crazy. And you know, I don't know if it's because I let a lot of plants grow here. There was um, tomatoes that came up and I let the tomatoes grow and grow and grow can you see the tomatoes up in there there's tomatoes and grow and i'm ashamed to say and grow and grow and grow but my sunflowers they grew look at that i've got some i've got some really crazy sunflowers they've got their one some of them have the big head and some of them have a big head plus a bunch of babies around it. So it must be different kinds. I don't know. Look at that. And there's a bee doing his little business. I can't see a thing. So hopefully you see whatever is in this camera. But I got a lot of sunflowers. That are doing really good. And I've got more blossoms. But will I get more snake? Oh, there's a snake gourd coming. Woo! Look at that. Whoops, I stepped on tomato. There's a snake gourd right there. Oh my goodness, it's teeny tiny. My season is different than your season. And there should be more coming, but there, it's coming down on the trellis really nice. But there's the snake gourd. Oh, I'm being blinded by the sun. There it is. And there's more. I don't know what those are. That was a weed. I let them grow too. And remember Emma was sitting on eggs? Well, two of them were duds. One of them had a baby starting in it, but it didn't finish. So I threw them here. So she ended up with Three bad eggs and one and two good eggs. So she ended up with two babies that are adorable. And I'll put that into this video. You'll see that too. So I hope you enjoyed seeing my messy tomatoes. These are all self-seeded. Look at this. They're all self-seeded. I've been eating a lot of them. Well, I've come back, and now it's the afternoon. It's the late afternoon. And earlier I had said that Emma was going to, was trying to get her babies to come out of the house. Well, today, the little video that you just saw is where she had brought them down. Apparently, they came down. So I just put the dog house into the enclosed run. So tonight, when she goes to bed, the little ones will go into the dog house with her because they won't be able to go back up into the other house. They don't hop yet to, or fl flutter a little bit to get up onto the rung of the, of the ladder. So they will sleep in the doghouse. <laughs> Sounds bad, doesn't it? <laughs> Sleeping in the doghouse. I wanted to talk about this chuffle, or ch 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 chaffle, chaffle, waffle, chaffle. I don't know how they say it. Anyways. It, there's been a crazy, crazy, um, everybody's talking about it if you're in the keto world. And it's funny because a long time ago, over a year, I had been making these and I never gave them a name. 
but now all of a sudden it's where you have to buy this itty bitty tiny waffle iron. Well, you don't have to buy this little itty bitty tiny waffle iron. I've been making them on the regular waffle iron and I've been using them as the carrier for my sandwiches. So, and it was a way for me to use my eggs. And what it is, is they're mixing um, cheese with the egg and putting it into the waffle oh, iron. Well, some of them are using mozzarella, some of them are using um, a sharp cheddar, it, it, whatever cheese you like. And some are sprinkling it on the waffle iron itself, then putting the egg in and then sprinkling some on top and then closing the waffle iron. The longer you cook it, the more crunchy it's going to get. So depending on how crunchy you like your, um, your shuffle, as they call it, shuffle, shuffle, I don't know, shuffle. Shuffle. I don't know how they say it. It's a waffle, but it's egg and cheese is what it cheese really waffle. is. It's a, it is. And um, I've been making it, and then I would make egg salad sandwich and put that inside, or I'd put um, turkey and cheese, and just like you're making a sandwich, because when you're on keto, you didn't have bread, and it was a way for me to still have a sandwich. And when my grandkids would come, I would make it for them, and whatever was left over, they'd want to take home, because it's really tasty and I just used my regular size waffle maker waffle iron and it's the perfect size for making sandwiches now the little one that they're selling for this little treat is more the size of an English muffin and I'm sure they are very cute but it's not a necessary um, purchase so if you want to just make them use your regular waffle iron it will work and they are just is tasty they just look different um let's see what else was i thinking about i was thinking about bullies but i don't know if i want to go into that in here because it's a longer talk and my video is getting pretty long because i've added so many things i've added some good stuff i think for those of you that like to watch chickens i've got that in there and i've also got my um snake gourd mine is not as long as farmer g's it's not as long as anybody's, but it is growing, and I did see I've got another one that was the size of my thumb, and hopefully today it's longer. That was taken um, two days ago. Today we've got rain. It's not a very pretty day outside. In fact, my husband goes, you left the chicken door trap door open. Well, it's the second time today that that trap door has been open, and I know I shut it. So I said to him, must be George and Sally are playing tricks again. It's a different kind of trick. But I said, if it opens up again, then you know definitely I'm not doing it and they're doing it. So maybe that's their prank today. I don't know. Um, I was talking about them to my granddaughter and my granddaughter's eyes were wide as wide could be. Um, I should probably talk about that at another time about how... Um, I talk and she says, I, she's actually told me I'm done listening. And I said, well, I'm not done talking. And um, it was really quite interesting. When you're 13 and difficult, it's quite hard to keep a conversation going unless you're doing all the talking and they pretend they can't hear you, but they can hear you. And so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you all again tomorrow. So bye.